backyard sitting after my ride. Trying to cool off, although it's 90 something or other, so it's not terribly cool, but this is cool. 20 bucks. Got 20 bucks for doing what I'd have done anyway. So I keep seeing this guy on the trail. Uh, I call him Kevin James Body Double. He says, you know, he just kind of wants to quit when it gets so hot and stuff, you know. And says, I'll give you 20 bucks if you if you ride with me and help keep me motivated. <laughs> okay. 20 bucks. I'll take 20 bucks. So anyway, so um so I help motivate him ride whatever. So uh it reminded me of that one personal trainer joke. So um so there's this company that puts a, an ad out for um you know, we guarantee you'll lose weight a hundred dollars a week, and it's guaranteed you'll you'll lose the weight you want to lose. Hi, birdie. Hi, little birdie. You're the little demon that poopies on my car, aren't you? Anyway, um, so John's a little overweight, and he decides, you know, hundred bucks a week, guaranteed results. Uh, oh, the thing was, the, um, at the end of, of four weeks, if you haven't achieved your fitness goals, you get double your money back, okay? So chubby little John decides, yeah, he's all in, right? So he signs up Monday morning, uh, opens the door, you know, doorbell rings, opens the door, and there's this beautiful redhead. And she says, hi, John, I'm Tiffany. I'm going to be your personal trainer. And he's like, wow, she's hot stuff. And uh, so she says, all right, you know, first thing, we just warm up, stretch out a little bit. And then um, we're going to go for a little one mile jog. And if you catch me, you can do whatever you want. So gets halfway around the block. And Poor chubby John passes out, right? But by the end of the week, you know, he's really working hard. He's trying. By the end of the week, he almost catches Tiffany. And he's feeling so good about himself. So that weekend, he thinks, you know, I'm going to start looking into, uh, you know, eating better. So he starts doing a little research on eating better. And so next Monday morning, doorbell rings again, opens the door, and it is the most incredible raven-haired gorgeous beauty who says hello Jean I am Giselle I will be your personal trainer this week so after the you know do the warm-up and the stretching and she says we're gonna go for a little five mile jog and Jean if you catch me you can do what you want so, of course, after about a mile and a half, John passes out because he's still kind of chubby. But by the end of the week, he almost catches her, almost he's grabbing for that raven hair, almost gets her, right? So that weekend, he gets into some serious nutritional counseling. He's got Greek yogurt and organic kale. He can even pronounce quinoa. He's thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I'm ready. Monday morning, I am ready. So next Monday morning, doorbell rings. He opens the door, and there's the most beautiful blonde with stunning green eyes. He doesn't know if he wants to look at the curves in the front or the curves in the back. And she says, Hi, John, I'm Bambi. You know the drill. We warm up, we stretch out, we go for a jog. If you catch me, you can do what you want. Well, John thinks he's ready, right? So, usual story. By the end of the week, he's almost got it. He sees that curl of blonde hair jogging in front of him and reaches out and almost almost gets it and he thinks oh this is this is I'm I almost oh, I almost have it okay so 
That's that's the end of the third week. And this weekend, he is just into the health food. He's sleeping well. No alcohol. No, no he's just totally, he's ready. For Monday morning, this is it. This is the fourth week. Doorbell rings. He opens the door. Six foot four inches of black rippling muscle who says, Yo, John, I'm Malik. <laughs> we gonna warm up and stretch out. And if I catch you, I get to do what I want with you. <laughs> oh God, I cracked myself up. Um, why was I telling that? I was doing that for a reason. Oh, oh, because um, I was biking today and that guy said that he needed some motivation on the trail. <laughs> I know, don't quit your day job. Well, I reckon I ought to change out of these wet, sweaty clothes and get something done. That's my life.